Hey everyone, my name's Andrew JRT, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new map for Overwatch, Eichenwald. As for this video, um, I'm, I'm excited to talk to you guys about this map because I've had a lot of fun playing it. Now I'll go over the lore briefly but then I'll get into how it looks and how it plays because that's what I'm interested in basically. Eichenwald is the site of one of the most famous battles during the Omnic Crisis. The Omnic Crisis is basically the battle between humans and their robots that turned against them. It was here that one of the human leaders Baldric and a handful of his best soldiers died making their last stand against the robot army. All the buildings are half destroyed and the entire area is overgrown with weeds. It's obvious that this place has been abandoned for a long time. It's just, it's a beautiful map. Look at, I mean, look at this blue sky. Since the soldiers were successful in their defense, it makes sense that the place is littered with dead bastion units. <laughs> And if you listen to Reinhardt's voice lines on the map, he explains the objective, which is to reclaim the remains of the fallen leader Baldrick, which is Reinhardt's old mentor. I will reclaim my master's armor! Peace be upon you. Hey there. This is an assault escort map. Attackers spawn in a pub. And yes, you can just beat the shit out of everything in this entire room before the match begins. Defenders spawn in a small weapons room and then we'll proceed to set up camp at the first choke point, which is this small archway. The attackers have three exits from the pub, all which lead to the archway, and this is where the heat of the battle starts, guys. This is where it begins. As attackers, be wary of the flanks before reaching the archway. I went in for a good old tank flank with Roadhog, giving them the good old music box of death. Look at this shit. They, they don't know what to do. On defense, you gotta try your best to stop them from getting through this archway. Send all your damage down this road and then await their exit from the pub. I've got you in my sights. I'm on fire. You didn't expect that one, Zenyatta, did you? If the attackers push past the small archway, they'll move on to the next task, which is to capture a payload. This area of the town is more open and defenders will spawn far away from the payload, so it's their job at all costs to stay alive, or the attackers will gain control of the area. On attack, I took Widowmaker away from the fight and eliminated some of their defenders at objective A. I hope you guys are proud of me. Next, the attackers will have to escort the payload through this very vertical section of the map. There's many layers from underground tunnels to the top of buildings. Offensive players like Widowmaker Hanzo can guard the payload from a distance while close range characters can skirmish at the payload. If you're into making those Widowmaker slingshot mid-air eliminations, then try latching onto this building because it's a really good spot to give yourself a load of height and a good view on the other team. Sadly, I didn't get anyone. Apart from the Genji. Oh! As Roadhog on defense, we push the attackers back to their spawn point, which is this. Here. This thing. This red thing. Expect all the attackers to be rushing from this room. If you're on the highest point of the map, you can see and shoot their spawn point from here. Here, right here. And this is the attacker's perspective. During this section of the map, I was playing pretty strong as Roadhog. As defenders, we were just trying to stay alive as long as possible. Zenyatta had his orb on me, so I had ham mode enabled. And here we are as Widowmaker again, having that epic 1v1 versus a support hero. You have my no! 
Now that we know where the attackers spawn during the escort section, it was time to jump off the top ropes, take out their team, and enable sneaky Roadhog mode. Once the attackers have escorted the payload to the castle, they'll have to protect it while it breaks down the entrance. This is the second choke point. Just get in there with D.Va and let your team do the work. Shoot some arrows with Hanzo from the top of buildings. Do your biggest ultimate fail of all time with Reinhardt. There's loads to do in this area due to there being lots of vertical space as well as the choke point. And there's actually a hole at the top of the entrance to the castle where you can get through with pretty much all the characters. Once the attackers have knocked down the entrance, they will proceed on their final objective which is to reach Baldrick's body. Both teams are forced to group up in this confined zigzag section of the map. There's lots of extra routes though for flanking possibilities. And you know what to do guys, you just throw your diva nukes in there. I even tried to make a flank with diva and I managed to escape before Reinhardt's hammer time. There's three openings to the castle for the attackers, but most of them were flooding through this entrance. If the attackers push hard enough, they'll reach the final square of the map, which resembles a throne room. The payload is to be escorted right up to Baldrick, and that's mission success. Smells like victory. That's all we've got time for today, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be very much appreciated. Subscribe for more Overwatch videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.